As more schools reopen across our state, we wanted to know how many Florida teachers have chosen to leave the profession. And just this morning, we introduced you to a teacher who quit her job and started a virtual tutoring service over concerns about coronavirus exposure. But what impact will fewer teachers have on education? I-Team investigator Katie Legrone takes a look at the bigger picture. As Florida teachers celebrate a legal win in their ongoing lawsuit against the state to keep brick and mortar schools closed during the pandemic. We won because we're on the side of right. Numbers we obtained from districts around the state reveal how the fear of COVID-19 may have already left thousands of teachers feeling like they've lost. In Tampa Bay, over 99% of our teachers, instructional staff said they're coming back. Hillsborough County, the state's third largest school district, is touting a near perfect teacher retention rate this year. We've been really uh, aggressive with our recruiting efforts to be able to create a longer, stronger bench. According to school board documents, between mid-June and mid-August of this year, more than 1,000 teachers have opted for a leave of absence or resigned from the district actually down 3% from last year. You're always going to have a number of, uh, of teachers, that positions that you'll have to fill through attrition. Around the state, just over a dozen school districts responded to our request for teacher retention rates. Many reported rates of 90% or higher and typical, they say, of recent years. Many more told us they were still working on it or didn't respond at all. Typically, districts don't report retention rates until later in the year. Hi, this is Katie Legrone. During a Zoom press conference yesterday with the state teachers union, I asked what the union knew about teachers staying or going. What we are seeing is in many cases almost double the number of teachers retiring and staff retiring that normally do at this point in the year. The union also raising concerns about the number of teachers taking a leave of absence during the pandemic. A significant increase in the number of teachers and staff taking leave of absences, uh, in some cases more than four times what they would normally have uh, at this point in the year. While it's unclear if and exactly how COVID-19 is contributing to teachers leaving the classroom this year. I'm concerned. I am very concerned. Jeremy Blythe, a culinary arts teacher in Pasco County, didn't have the option, but he did ask to teach remotely and didn't get it. It was just the, the, the health risk, the safety factor. Now he joins countless other teachers who didn't have the means to leave, but also fear staying. This is going to be like survivor level, like figure it out, sink or swim. I'm my team investigator Katie Legrone taking action for you.